Hey folks, what's up? Today I wanted to show you this one. This is a boombox from 2000, August 2000. I bought it in a Goodwill for like 14 bucks. Uh, well, those things are not really relevant these days. Most of the people just ignore those. But at the same time, if you have the right media, let's say nice cassette tape and uh, also a good compact disc, you can always use those to produce a good sound actually. It's, it's not that bad that most people remember, honestly. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So CFD 922 is the model, CD radio cassette recorder, so it's like everything in one, which is cool. Uh, so what do we have right here? Whoa, see how nicely and smooth it lifts up? It was quite uh, like a feature in those days, like how nicely it opens up. Uh, it was quite dusty when I picked it up, so I just cleaned up a bit. But it's still a bit dusty. <laughs> okay, so what, I, uh, what do we have here? So, well, it's kind of uh, it's kind of portable, but at the same time, it's not really portable. So if you want to, you can always have an option to insert batteries right here. So it's Type D batteries, according to here, six Type D batteries you can put inside, and you can just play it here. Just use it portable. I think it's like, I don't know, 15 hours or something, I'm not sure. It's always nice to have an option just to power it up on the go. And you can also just power it using the cable. So, all right, so what do we have here? Um, one of the nice options back in those days were like, friendly from the disc to cassettes, and this one has a, a record button. So you just play this one, just press the record button, and it writes all the data from the disc to cassette. It was nice to create a mixtapes or something like that. You can also have an ability to pause this one. Like, for example, you pause it in a cassette and then you change the track here. Then you go ahead back and unpause it in direct records from the another CD, let's say, or just different track. Or track in a different um, position. You can also just record from the radio, I guess. It's also an option here. And it also supports AM and FM bands which is nice, because this kind of antenna, I guess you can receive signal far away. And actually it sounds quite nice for the price. <laughs> you can guess, like for 14 bucks, like, I think you can pick it up even cheaper somewhere else. What else? It also has the headphone output here, and this is the only output it has. It doesn't have any input, so you can either use CD or radio to record on the tape, but not much else, nothing else. Uh, so there is no way to record from other source. What else? Let's plug it in actually. Boom, you can power it up and by default it goes to a CD mode. If you want you can change to a tape, press the play button, hear the sound, that's the amplifier because it's all analog. I've also bought those tapes from the local uh, vintage audio store and I wish I could have just played for you like at least to see how it sounds but unfortunately since it's all copyrighted by the way there should be nice songs on this one rockin 50s right yeah very nice songs out there and this one I think is just the Cuban music uh, yeah well both were just like two bucks for the tape, which I think is actually quite a lot for the tape, uh, especially when you think about the quality, but yeah, I think it's still good. Guess what? I'm gonna try this one anyway, actually. Let's try. So, back in those days, all the cassettes had something like inside this. Some description, all the names and all that, like songs actually displayed on the tape. So, let's try. So, eject. Yeah, I'm just saying that it was nice, like all the artwork was displayed. And let's rewind. Yeah. As you can see, when you rewind, the amplifier is actually on and you can hear all this noise. And it takes a long time to actually finish this rewind process. <laughs> so, if you forgot how long it takes, well, it takes quite a long time. Okay. So now let's try. Something is starting. Okay, 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 all right. You know, the 
quality is not that bad actually, right? Here it is, yeah. So the cassette tapes are not that bad. If you actually plug it in in the headphone, ja headphone jack right there, the quality will be even better. You will hear it much nicer. Although they will still hear this tape phone hiss, that's what they call it. But yeah, that's part of the experience. Many people like this kind of experience when the cassette sounds a bit different after each playback. So it's not necessarily a bad experience, it's just for audio feels, like whatever it's called. And it's kind of nice to just like roll it like this, then boom. I mean, it was part of experience. You like touch the song or something like that. You just touch something. Nowadays, you just press the button. And that's it. It's all digital. You don't even like hold this thing in your hand. So it's totally different. Totally different experience. So what do I think about those tapes in general? So I think it's uh, still relevant for some usage, especially if you have the old tapes or you kind of like this uh, kind of experience where you like, insert the tape and you listen to the whole thing from from start to finish. Uh, the second usage of this one I think will be audiobooks because when you listen to audiobooks you can always just stop, like, I mean pause actually and then you can continue and it's easy like you don't need to have some way to memorize this thing you just like stop the cassette you can remove it, you can insert another one, you can just stop and when you insert it back it will be the same spot you left so I think it's good for this kind of uh, process, for this kind of experience. And other usage will be learning a new language. So let's, let's say you're learning Japanese. So in that case you can have just have a cassette, you insert here, you listen to it, you can always again pause at some spot, then you can rewind it back and then you can listen it again. So it's quite easy with the tapes basically. So it's nice. There is still relevant usage but unfortunately and maybe it's for good, I don't know, but the industry has abandoned these tapes almost completely. But you can still get the tapes somewhere from your local vintage stores. You can find those, so it's not that hard. The question is, do you really want to or not? So if you want to, go ahead, buy those boom boxes and use it. If not, then why you do care about those all? That's how it is, so please press the like button. Subscribe, there will be more videos about vintage kind of devices, software and all that. Thank you for watching.